Hello everyone! In this video we're going to draw a flying squirrel. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. Inside the circle, draw a curved horizontal line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. On the top left side, draw a short curved vertical line for another construction guide. Draw a small circle on the bottom part of the head as a guide for the muzzle. The muzzle should fit between the horizontal construction guide and the bottom edge of the head. Draw the bottom part of the muzzle outside of the head. On top of the head, draw two small triangular shapes as guides for the ears. Pay attention to the sizes and positions of the ears in relation to the head. To the right of the head, draw a big circle as a guide for the top part of the body. Use the small marks method to draw this circle too. First make a few small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. This circle should be almost twice as big as the head. On the bottom right side, make a small mark for the lower half of the body. Connect the mark to the big circle using curved lines to finish the guide for the lower half of the body. This guide should be similar to the letter U. On the top left side of the head, draw a horizontal line as a guide for the first leg. On the tip of the line, draw a small circle as a guide for the foot. On the left side of the small circle, draw a short curved line as a guide for the toes. Draw similar shapes on the right side as guides for the other leg. Use lines as guides for the leg and a couple of curved shapes for the foot and toes. Pay attention to the lengths of these guides in relation to the body. On the bottom left side of the body, draw a sloping line as a guide for the hind leg. On the end of the line, draw a couple of small ovals as guides for the foot and toes. On the right side, draw another line as a guide for the other leg. Draw a couple of small curved shapes at the end of the line as guides for the foot and toes. Draw a couple of long lines that connect the legs as guides for the loose skin. The end result should be similar to a big square around the body. Under the body, draw a line that curves to the left as a guide for the long tail. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch two small circles for the eyes. Use the initial lines as guides to help you position the eyes inside the head. The eyes should be pretty big in relation to the head. When you get the sizes and positions of the eyes right, darken the shapes. Draw a series of short strokes on the right edge of the eye on the left for a bit of fur. The shape of this eye should be thin because the head is turned. Darken the circle on the right, but draw a couple of short lines on the bottom left side for the corner of the eye. Draw a series of short strokes around the eye for fur. Keep these strokes close to the shape of the eye. Inside each eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for highlights. Now shade the eyes. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circles when you shade the eyes. Use a darker value in the middle of the eyes for the pupils. Inside the muzzle, near the middle, lightly sketch a small oval for the nose. 
When you get the size and position right, darken the shape but make the bottom edge curvier. Draw a short line at the bottom of the nose. Use short strokes when you darken the top edge for fur. Add a pointy shape to the bottom of the nose. Under the nose, draw a line that curves to the right for the first part of the mouth. Use short strokes for a furry texture. Add another short curved line on the left side for the other side of the mouth. Curve the left line upward to create the side of the muzzle. Follow the path of the initial circle as you draw the muzzle. Above the nose, add a few more short strokes for the top part of the muzzle. Under the mouth, draw a curved line that's made up of short strokes for the furry chin. Use the triangular shape on the top right side as a guide to draw the first ear. Darken the guide but extend the bottom part down so that it's farther inside the head. Add a few curved lines on the sides to give the ear more structure. Draw a series of short strokes along the bottom for the furry base of the ear. Use the small triangle on the left side as a guide to draw the other ear the same way. Darken the shape of the guide and then add more lines for the fur and the structure of the ear. Use the initial circle as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Simply darken the outer edge of the circle to create the shape of the head. The top of the head should be more curved than the initial circle. Make the sides of the head wider than the initial circle. Use a series of short strokes to create a furry texture. Add a few more short strokes inside the head for a furry texture. Use the small curved shapes on the top right side as guides to draw the first foot and toes. Darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the foot. Inside the shape on the left, draw a series of small lines to separate the toes. Make the tip of each toe pointy to indicate the claws. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Make the foot a bit thinner than the initial circle. Inside the shape, draw a few lines for wrinkles. On the right side, draw a curved line along the guide for the first part of the loose skin. Draw this line so that it curves around the guideline. Add a couple more curved lines at the bottom for the wrist. Use short strokes on the sides for a furry texture. Darken the line on the left for the top edge of the leg and body. Use the small curved shapes on the top left side as guides to draw the other foot and toes the same way. Draw a few short lines inside the shape on the left to separate the toes. Make the tip of each toe pointy for the claws. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Darken the line on the right for the top edge of the leg. At the bottom, draw a sloping line for the bottom edge of the leg. This line should extend from the foot to the head. Above the foot, lightly sketch a curved shape for the skin flap. Darken the shape using short strokes for the fur. Use the small oval-like shapes on the bottom left side as guides to draw the other foot and toes. Inside the shape on the left, draw a series of short lines to separate the toes. 
make the tip of each toe pointy for the claws. Darken the line on the right using short strokes to create the bottom edge of the leg. At the top, draw a sloping line for the top edge of the leg. Use the small shapes on the bottom right side as guides to draw the other foot and toes the same way. Darken the guides and add the toes inside the shapes. Not all the toes will be visible from this angle. Darken the guide at the bottom using short strokes for fur. Add a few short strokes at the top for the outline of the top part of the leg. Use the line on the left as a guide to draw the skin flap. Follow the basic path of the guide but make the shape wavier as you darken the line. Flying squirrels can't really fly but they can glide using these skin flaps. Use the line on the right as a guide to draw the other skin flap the same way. Follow the basic path of the guide but make the shape wavier. Draw a curved line at the bottom for a fold on the skin. At the top, draw a sloping line that's made up of short strokes for the bottom edge of the top leg. Now use the shapes in the middle as guides to draw the rest of the body. Darken the initial guides using short strokes to create the furry shape of the body. Use the curved line at the bottom as a guide to draw the tail. Lightly sketch the shape of the tail around the guideline. Make the shape of the tail wide. When you get the tail right, darken the shape using short strokes for fur. Curve the shape of the tail around the guideline. Darken the guideline and make the shape in the middle thicker. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Use a medium value for the top part of the body. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Use a darker value on the white fur that's on the underside of the body to create shadows. Leave a section blank around the eyes and on the lower half of the head for the white fur. As you shade, use strokes that go in the direction of the fur. Separate each stroke a bit so that the white of the paper comes through and creates a more furry texture. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. It's a good idea to use reference as you shade for a more accurate depiction of a flying squirrel. Use long strokes on the tail to make the shape flat. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the flying squirrel. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.